I feel very proud to speak about sex, gender, sexuality, penis, vagina, intercourse, or sexual preferences, sexual orientation. Because of a feminine character, I was sexually harassed and raped and abused. Lots of things happened. Finally, I was demotivated to discontinue my education. So then I was doing sex work for four years, from 16 to 20 years. I did my sex work in Kabin Park. At the meantime, I came to know about Sangama. It's a human rights organization which is working with the sexual minority sex workers community. We're more focusing on the working class background. We are marginalized, we are oppressed. It's only for two reasons. One is for your sexuality, one is for your gender identity. What makes a society to reject you because of these two identities? And who gave you that authority? And who gave you that power? We are completely marginalized from our own biological family. From your neighbors, from your relatives, from your state, from your law, from your constitution. So then where are you going to seek justice for yourself? As a community, it's a long and long and long and struggle. I believe in activism. I believe in social change. It's not a question of Hakkai uh, only should fight for sexual minorities' rights. It's my major responsibility to bring up my own committee members to the same platform and to fight for other rights. Like Hakkai, how she got her passport, Hakkai, how she got her driving license. Hakkai was invited by the President of India. Same opportunity should be for equal committee members that I'm representing. Sexuality is your right. Like before saying anything, yes, as a human being, sexuality is a right.